people here. Hmm. They're probably around my age. <laughs> We've also got this many shelves in the library of Southern Beast Manor. Are there any alchemy workshops and potion warehouses here, like in our manor? Where can I find Miss Boanish? Madame Z told me to come here, but she didn't give any other clues. Oh, the people here really need Mr. Teacapper, who is always nice and warm to the guests. Twist his teapot ear, then he can take you anywhere. If not so, placing a luckaday potion at the entrance would help as well. If I had made it before I came, Miss Boonish and I might have met by now. Or she will just pop up behind me. Are you looking for me? Oh my word! Oops, that was too loud. Where are my manners? Oh, nice to meet you. Are you Miss Boonish? That's fantastic. How did you find me? Did you see me in the Oniron? a crystal orb. Either way, it is the great Arcanum. <laughs> I'm much greater than that. Look at you, dressed as if you'd just been to a ball. You are as eye-catching as the pigment board on a sketch. I saw you the moment I came into the library. Oh. <gasps> Does the foundation hold balls too? No, I'm saying... Hmm, it's good reason I'm diverting from like this. Ah, never mind. Madame Z told me you wanted to look up the materials on the mysterious school that believes in numbers here. That's right. Miss Marcel told me she will thoroughly check the documents in the Foundation Archive. So I'll go through the books in the SPDM library. If we can find anything about that school, we can be of more help to Vertin and her team. I'm sorry, Miss Sotheby, but I'm afraid this situation is going to disappoint you. While you spend the last hour looking for Ticketler's ear, the kind-hearted monitor assistant already gained a valuable access to the library. But I haven't found any records regarding the mysterious school that believes in numbers yet. due to the storm. Many old books are not yet sorted. Some even went missing in the chaos. The only relevant materials I could find are the stories of Pythagoras and some books on mathematical theorems. But I don't think they have anything to do with Vertin's issue. Listen to me. 
my butler had taught me. He said, express your gratitude to fair ladies by holding a grand ball. I'll write to my father and ask for a brand new unsinkable and maneuverable rock and roll park. I'm sure he will gladly say yes. Maneuverable rock and roll park? Yes. We can hold a twist ball on it when Burton and her team are back. Please allow me to say no. The monitor assistant of SPDM will never participate in such an inelegant activity. Wait, did you just say Verten and her team? Hmm? Um, we can talk about the ball later. The kind-hearted Matilda Buanish will try her best to help you with the task. But, uh, of course, it's only out of her sense of responsibility, not for some personal reasons. finish all the materials. She must have been bored and fallen asleep, waiting for her tea kettle in the dream. It takes much more than dancing at balls to be a foundation investigator. I'll send her back to the teacher when she wakes up. In the end, it will be the kind-hearted Matilda who finishes the task for her. Being a great monitor assistant comes with great responsibility.
did you sort out these files? Hmm? Yes. And I love these books in uncommon shapes. There are so many wonderful stories. I often read books with Sasano when Father wasn't at home. He read and read until the red bomb waves woke up the sun. Moreover, these files are much easier than Miss Moisson's reading to us. Here, the gentleman from River Conway tamed a whole group of avants. How marvelous is that? Oh, okay. Looks like you meet the basic requirements for being a rookie investigator. Tu es plus ou moins qualifié pour être mon assistante en chef. to submit such a report, but it will be a travesty of the truth and human sense if I cover it up. Peace, sense, sense justice. justice. They have always been the creeds in my heart, and are now the reason why I have decided to write down the whole thing. A long time has passed since the first attack of the most severe crisis in our time, but we are still wondering, what on earth does it mean? That was the eve of the millennium, of which no one had any memories, illogically. The next day, time was already reversed to 1996, the moment we opened our eyes. We walked out of the building made of grey and white marble as usual, hardly aware that the sun we based in was from another time. Our survival was unexpected and almost unbelievable in such a calamity which swept the globe. Why did the headquarters of the Foundation survive the reverse? Why couldn't we find our younger selves in the outside world? Did any other region survive it as we did? What was the cause behind this calamity? I didn't know, nor did anyone else. Things remained unclear until time was reversed again. This time, we all witnessed that rain in the 80s. Oh, this, this. 